Hello and welcome to the Let's Talk Sport preview of Chelsea Women's versus Manchester City Women's taking place uh, this coming week in the Continental Cup semi-final game. Uh, Emma Hayes leading her Chelsea team out for another big mm. clash. Um, of course, a former FA Cup winner, and she had success in the FA Cup once more. We last, saw it, didn't we? Weekend. We saw it yeah. ourselves. Uh, so, um, sorry, I mean, yeah, we saw her win the trophy. We saw her win the yeah, trophy. Yeah, we didn't yeah. see the game. Not, not the game, no, no, no. no. Um, two, well, two nil win against Everton uh, on the Sunday. Uh, funny enough, a lot of the games were actually delayed in the Women's FA yeah. Cup because of the snow and that. And damn hopefully, you, damn you. Hopefully, none of the games uh, this week will be delayed. Uh, but it looks like the worst of the weather is behind us. Two nil victory Touch against one. Everton. Uh, Hammer Blund Hannah Blundell and Drew Spence getting the goals in that one and their performances in the Continental Cup so far has been great too winning uh, the Group 1 South and then getting a 4-0 victory against Reading in the quarterfinals of this competition back in January of course we all know um, about a lot of the players because Chelsea arguably uh, although City have become the better team and Arsenal have the history Chelsea are more of the well-known team because they've got yeah. some of the better quality players in the Women's League people like G Beth England uh, uh, Hannah, Hannah Blundell, Drew Spence, and of course, um, arguably the the woman that is called the Messi of the Women's Super Frank League, Kirby. Frank Kirby. Frank yeah. Kirby. Um, only twenty two goals on the season, though, Jamie. Is this a bit of concern? Uh, it's just. I mean, it's funny because without in the league, that without, is, without, yeah. without Bethany England, I, I don't know where they'd be because mm. Bethany England's been an absolute extraordinary player this season, another one to look forward to for the World Cup. You know, this is what I mean by the Lionesses. We could win the World Cup because we've got a team full of great individuals. Mm. Um, but, you know, with, with Chelsea, they showed it against Birmingham the other week. I remember watching it as well because they were 2-1 up against Birmingham. And, you know, this is this it had to end as a win because they are going for the title. Because on the same day, Man City absolutely thrashed Brighton, I think it was. Mm. Um, and, and, uh, and Arsenal beat Reading as well. So they had to go and win. And then what happened on the last minute, they lost 3-2 at yeah. home against Birmingham, which, as you said, I, I completely agree, they are a respectable team. You can't, you can't fault them because, you know, this Birmingham City team has, won, has been runners-up to the Continental Cup in the past. Yeah. So they, they know how to get far and, and go against the big teams. Mm -hmm. But for Chelsea, I, I, I'm not sure. I, I, Man City women, are, I still think, are the best team in England in terms yeah. of women's football. But Chelsea have always had that presence. They won the Women's FA Cup last year, so they, they, they've got a great team. Emma Hayes is a great leader. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't go against them, but I just sense that Man City could do it. But, you know, Steph Hutton in defence... You got the ones up front. I mean, you got Nikita Paris. I love Nikita Paris. Yeah, we'll Paris. get on to her in just a bit. Yeah. She's just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, it's, I have a feeling that it could be going towards Man City. Yeah, and you know, Emma, Emma Hayes, you know, she, she's got that presence on Sky Sports as well. We see her quite a few yes. times on the debate too. Uh, so Chelsea definitely have that presence she in even, the spotlight um, in a sense. But she, she even had uh, an interview the, uh, the other day on Five Live because they were talking about... Um, men coaches, you know, will there ever be a women's coach in, in the top game of yeah. men's football? She definitely could be a contender. I think yeah. she could be, but she doesn't want it. She said that she, you know, she loves the job that she does mm. now. And, and but you know, we all know this. We, it's like if you get an offer somewhere else and you can't refuse, then yeah. that might happen. But. I mean, definitely one point that will be a pioneer and does something like that. Yeah. Um, but definitely uh, back to this game. You know, you mentioned there about the the performance there against uh, Birmingham not too long ago in the defence. Nine goals though conceded on the season. Yeah. Um, you know. It, it is a solid defence that City have to find a way to break down. Um, but if, if there's one striker that can break it down, it is, of course, Nikita Paris. Nick Cushing, star striker. 3-0 uh, victory against Watford at the weekend in the mm. FA Cup. Uh, Nikita Paris getting twice uh, on the score sheet that day, as well as uh, Pauline Bremer uh, getting the goal as well. And then the Continental Cup itself, good performances so far, uh, winning the Group 1 North. You've seen a common trend here if you've, uh, you know, uh, teams performing well. And then also a 7-1 victory against Brighton and Hove Albion in January in the quarterfinal stages. Uh, Nikita Paris, 14 goals. Georgia Stanway, 10 goals. Caroline Weir, 5 goals on the season. 40 goals scored overall, 8 goals conceded. <laughs> Says it all, doesn't it, really? Mm. You know, they, they. I think this is why I've got a lot of respect for Man City, even though I'm a United fan. Yeah. But I've got a lot of respect that they... So, simply, they... simply put, Jamie, can... Chelsea closed down Nikita Paris or are we looking at a City win? Uh, I don't know, it's hard because they've got a good defence now and again Chelsea as well, I'm not sure. What I was going to say though was that with Man City women, I've got a lot of respect for them because 
when they got bought, obviously by I don't know the name who owns Man City. I Sheikh Mansour. Yeah, he. Couldn't I know that because I know one of the chants, and I just, it's one of the funniest, <laughs> one of one of the best chants. I like. I'll tell you that another time. Oh, okay, uh, but like you know, at least like when they got in, when they had this structure idea, I'm just so glad that they included the women's game. Yeah, because you know I think that's just as important as any other. Absolutely. In in, in any sport. Um, so I'm glad that they're taking it very seriously and it's good to see them set a standard because I, as a United fan I want to see us go up there with them and compete for these titles yeah. and who knows the cup final could be United versus C we'll see mm. but um, no you're right the, the, the Nikita Paris has, has been absolutely top notch and for Chelsea's defence to go up against that it's going to be a challenge but you know as you rec- mentioned those stats there they can, they've can they been very difficult to beat So, mm. but this is why both of these teams are in the semis because they have these uh, abilities where it's either tough to score against them or you can produce a lot of goals against your opponents. Yeah, third versus second as well in terms of Super yes. League rankings. Yes. So it's going to be a very close and tightly knit game. And with both teams having a strong defensive record, it could be really separated by who can break the deadlock first and who can go on to win the game. Yeah. Um, for me personally, Jamie, though, I'm going to go for a City win. Yeah. I think they've got the firepower in Nikita Paris to get the job mm. done, mm. whereas Chelsea you know, have struggled a little bit in terms of getting the goals. Yeah. Um, and I think Nikita Paris will, will get the job done, and I think it's going to be a, a 2-0 scoreline for City. What do you yeah, think? I, I'm going to agree, because I want to see a Manchester derby as a final, because it yeah. would be amazing to, you know, for, for United, its first season to be in the final against Man City would be amazing and I think it's great would for this, the sport would this, would this be the first meeting as well since the uh, the, the oh, re- yeah, yeah, revival yeah, yeah, yeah. Since, since we've brought it back yes yeah. it would be um yeah so that would be quite an, quite an occasion as well in the cup final mm. too but yeah um any, anything, else, anything else to comment, really? No. Uh, just, you know, great game. Looking forward to it. And, uh, you know, we've got two teams here who have a, a majority of the England Lionesses. Yeah. So, you know, expect a great match. You know, they're great. They're friends off the pitch, I'm sure. But yeah. on, on, the, on the night, come Wednesday, they will not be. Could definitely be full of flair with likes of Frank Kirby oh, yeah. and uh, Nikita yeah. Paris going head-to-head and things It'll like that. It'll be a good game. So, yes. What are your own predictions for the game itself? Let us know in the comment section below this video. Don't forget to like it. Subscribe for more Let's Talk Sport content. See you all very soon.